Hey all, I'm here with my E-Flight UMX Timber. And uh, a while back I uh, put up a video of my E-Flight Delta Ray 1, which is billed as a really good beginner's plane. But my personal opinion is that this is actually a much better beginner's plane. And I'm about to show you why. Um, first of all, it's it's got a very, very wide wingspan for its size and weight, so it floats really well. Of course, it also has landing gear, as you can see here, so you can practice your takeoffs and landings, which is a, a good skill to, to have. Um, of course, if you're in an area that doesn't have any dirt, like this baseball field I'm at, um, it's a little bit harder to, to take off with, but um, those big tundra tires do make it actually possible to take off in, in very short grass, and you can actually also land in short grass. Um, but dirt or concrete's even better. And the other thing about this is that it can just fly so incredibly slowly that you can really practice your moves. Uh, the Delta Ray 1 that I showed in my previous video is actually a lot faster, even though it uses the same battery and same motor. It's just so much lighter and I guess maybe more aerodynamic. It just goes, which is nice if you want a fast plane, but if you're new to the hobby, a fast plane is actually not really what you want. You want a plane that um, you can use in small spaces and is very docile and, and uh, turns maybe somewhat slowly, but also moves slowly. So I'm going to show you how this takes off. By the way, this does have functioning flaps. I'm going to show those to you. There you go. So you can really get a ton of lift for short takeoffs and landings. So I'm going to put it in the center position there. And I am going to take off and then show you how this thing flies. All right, there we are. I am flying one-handed, so I'm gonna keep it pretty simple here. I have fl the flaps in the medium position. That just gives me a little bit more lift. Keeps me up in the air. I'm actually gonna set the throttle even lower. I'm gonna show you how slow this plane can go, which is just great if you're learning to fly. That's at about, oh, I don't know, 20% throttle. It's, it's really not that much harder than flying a kite. Look at that. I'm gonna let it go by me here. I had to give it a little bit more throttle because it was kind of edging too close to the ground and I've only got one hand here to fly with. Take it down a notch again and bring it back by. Now it does have decent speed if you want it to, but this plane is not the one you buy if you want something really fast. You buy it because you want it to go really, really calmly through the air. I'm going to give it maximum flaps and minimum speed and you'll see it. It's going to basically just float by me here. I'm going to bring it down really, really slowly. Again, not a whole lot harder than flying a kite. Here it goes. Look how slowly it is, guys. Look at that. Still airborne. And we've got landing. I landed that with one hand, guys. Uh, that's how docile this plane is. Uh, so if you're new to the hobby and you want a little plane that you can fly basically anywhere, this UMX Timber is fantastic. I just landed that with one hand. I'm actually Actually, I even surprised myself there that it, it didn't crash. That's how easy this thing is to handle. Um, so I highly recommend this. It comes in at $130. And then you need to get a radio. I recommend actually the DXE from Spectrum, although you do need to get a programming cable for it to work with this, um, this plane. I will link all that in the description. And then you need a battery and charger. And you can kind of go fancy with the charger. You can go really simple. Um, and I'll link those to you as well. And another recommendation is if you if you need a little extra help, go to your local hobby shop that carries E-Flight, and most do, um, and ask them, hey, I want a, a UMX Timber setup. Set me up. And they will do it. The other nice thing about this plane is it is under the limit for uh, insurance requirements. So it's under 250 grams, which means you really can fly it just about anywhere. And uh, that's because it's pretty safe. Um, it really can't hurt anyone too badly and um, you can fly it at your local park as long as your park doesn't have restrictions on RC planes. Some of them do. 
I sometimes ignore them because I think that's a silly restriction for a little plane like this. But anyway, yeah, I really recommend the UMX Timber as a first plane. It's still probably my favorite just because I can take it anywhere and it is so relaxing to fly. It's like going to fly a kite. All right. Um, this is Ari from Tech Buyers Guru and I will catch you next time.